everybody, JC here with another T&I Toy Review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new DC Collectible 7-inch scale John Diggle figure from their Arrow TV series line. Now this figure comes packaged in the same kind of style window box packaging we see with most DC Collectible figures. You've got the figure clearly displayed along with the accessories. You've got the Arrow TV series logo down below. Off to the side you have the name of the character and we have a number 9 telling us that this is the ninth figure released in this series. Off to the side we have an image of the character from the TV show and then on the back we have a look at all three figures in this wave. So we've got John Diggle which was released today and then Felicity Smoke which is figure number 8 and Arsenal which is figure number 7. Those two figures have not actually yet been released. I don't have an exact release date but probably within the next few weeks. And then down below it tells us the figure was sculpted by Eric Sosa. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, I think DC Collectibles has done a pretty nice job with capturing the overall look of the actor with this figure. Now, it's not 100% dead on and a little bit kind of depends on what angle you're catching the figure at. But for the most part, I think they've done a pretty solid job with, with capturing that overall likeness. Paint applications are pretty solid with the figure for the most part. He's got some dark charcoal pants. He's got black boots. Uh, he's got a jacket that's uh, sculpted with a material similar to that kind of vinyl rubber material you see with like the arrow figure. And you've got, it's like a almost light charcoal type color and then it's got some uh, wash work to give it kind of a, a worn look to it, especially like on the sleeves. Now the, the, the jacket part glued onto the figure so it's not, it doesn't, you know, come away from the figure at all but it is a separate piece from the rest of the figure. Whereas the arms of the jacket are sculpted. So you do get kind of that separation at the shoulder between the arm and, and the rest of the jacket where you can kind of sometimes see the purple of the shirt underneath shirt kind of see, see through. Uh, not anything major and it really just kind of depends on how you're posing the arms but sometimes you can see uh, some purple there between the arm and, and the rest of the jacket. Uh, the shirt he's wearing underneath is just a purple color with the buttons. Again, I kind of like how they've sculpted the wrinkles of the shirt and everything. Um, so I, I think that looks nice. And, and again, no real uh, major paint blemishes or anything with the figure. Now the figure comes with several pairs of hands, three different pairs of hands for accessories. So he's got a pair of closed fisted hands that come with the figure when you take it out of the packaging. Then he has a pair of open hands that I guess are for gripping or grabbing things. And then he's got a pair of hands for the hold the gun. It's got a, you know, the trigger finger that sticks out and the trigger finger does uh, fit into the uh, trigger of the gun. So you can use hold the gun with the regular grip hands or the trigger finger hands, but obviously the one with the trigger finger is a little better for holding the gun. I do kind of think that the regular grip hands are kind of redundant. There's not much point to them, um, but you know they do give you that third pair of hands nevertheless. He also comes with a pistol and it is sculpted with, it's a weird almost kind of black metallic paint. When you're just kind of looking at it, it's definitely solid black, but when you catch it in light, it almost kind of has a glistening uh, metallic effect to it. So it's kind of a weird paint. Um, sculpting on the pistol is, is, you know, pretty decent and he can hold the gun. You know, he's got the hand so he can hold it in his left or his right hand. So the figure stands just about 7 inches exactly and he's pretty much the same height as the arrow figure in the line so scale seems to be pretty good with this. So articulation is pretty much on par with the other figures in this line, though he doesn't have a midsection joint like say the arrow figure and most of the other figures in the line do, but otherwise the articulation is pretty much on par. So the head is just on a ball joint, he can look left and he can look right, he doesn't really have much up or down movement with the head, arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint so he can get his arm all the way out and he's got good rotation at the arm. There's no bicep swivel. It does have a swivel at the elbow, single hinged elbow, uh, so he can't really bend his elbow very good. That's about as much as he can bend the elbow. He's got the swivel at the wrist, and he does have the hinges on the wrist, so he's got up and down movement, pretty good up and down movement with the hands. As I said, no midsection articulation, no waist swivel 
on this. Um, legs are attached with those uh, ball joints, so you can do the splits pretty good. And good sturdy construction there, so I don't think you have to worry about breakage. You can get his leg forward about that much. Can't really do his leg back at all with the way the butt is sculpted. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got the double hinged knee, so he's got pretty good bending at the knee. And then he's got swivels at the ankle. I can't really tell if there's any kind of hinge. It doesn't look like it, but even if there was, it's pretty much uh, limited by the way the pants kind of are sculpted to come down over the shoes. So pretty much you've just got a swivel there at the wrist, or at the ankle. And then he's got two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like this figure. You know, it's a pretty basic figure, but the articulation, you know, it's okay. It's not the, fa it's not the best, but it, it's not horrible either. Definitely better than most civilian type figures that we see from DC collectibles um, and again I think the face likeness is pretty good for the most part and you know Diggle is an important you know character in the Arrow TV series so if you're a fan of the show and you've been collecting all the Arrow TV series figures then I think this is definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection. So this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com there's a link in the description below and as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the figure. Let us know what you think about the Arrow TV series. Did you like the last season? Are you excited for the new season that's uh, going to be starting in the next couple of weeks? You know, so let us know. And then also, if you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.